I'm going to apologize. This is going to go very, very quickly because there's a lot to get through. Uh, so if I do end up speaking too fast, just kind of uh, tell me to slow down a bit, potentially. So hi, my name is Yaman Lekwich. I'm an independent data visualization consultant, uh, which means I have a bit of time to research the field. Uh, and a topic that's been very, very interesting to me recently has been around aesthetics. Uh, so in this talk, I'm going to be talking about loosely a, about a, based on a paper uh, written by Paul Heckert, I'll loosely kind of apply those principles he talks about for design to data visualization. And there are four principles which are loosely, uh, which are actually quite closely connected. So if I start with the first one, this is the idea of appropriateness. Uh, and that idea is about harmony between meaning and design. Uh, and if you think about how this works in design, uh, an example might be the sound of a keyboard while you're typing on your phone. Uh, if we're talking about data visualization, for example, you might be, uh, somebody might be producing a chart for the serious company, uh, but if they produce a chart like this, uh, it, there might be uh, a bit of kind of cognitive chaf chafing between what the, what the company culture is and the way the data is being presented. So basically, uh, creating this connection between meaning and content is fairly important. And we can extend this further. So we can extend it to charts, colors, fonts, uh, the actual text. And to my mind, one of the fantastic examples, and there a lot's been said about this visualization, is uh, the South China Morning Post uh, Iraq's Bloody Toll visualization, which not only uses color to form an appropriate view of the data, but also uses uh, the negative axis to signify a measure that is essentially a minus, uh, fewer lives. Uh, this is basically showing deaths in Iraq uh, by month. Next up is efficiency. So the idea that um, we find things that, op uh, that help our brain and body run as economically as possible, aesthetically pleasing as well. Uh, and we can see this in, um, you know, technological design, uh, furniture design, architecture, uh, and technology. Uh, and this is a kind of aesthetic concept that underpins a lot of modern design. In terms of data visualization, we're quite lucky because we've got the Edward Tufte data ink ratio, which basically says emphasizing data above all other design elements. Now, the nice thing is that, whoops, the nice thing is that the, um, that Paul Heckert's uh, papers suggest that this is also more aesthetically pleasing. Another thing the paper talks about is the idea that we can condense, uh, be more efficient through using metaphors, which I th find is very interesting. Uh, and a fantastic example of that is this year's Information is Beautiful Award winners, uh, who not only show the data, but also use the display to create uh, kind of cognitive connections between the idea of culture growing like rings on a tree. Following that, uh, another principle is clarity. Now, if you're familiar with Gestalt, this is fairly similar. If you're not familiar with Gestalt, it's probably a theory that says we humans have evolved um, to become pattern spotting maniacs. Uh, and basically, Gestalt describes how we, how we see those uh, patterns. Uh, so we can think of proximity, similarity, enclosure. There's a lot more of these, but um, we don't have enough time to cover them. But the interesting thing that the paper suggests is also that this is aesthetically pleasing, so not just functional. Uh, and in data visualization, you might use it to highlight certain points. You might use it to um, highlight an outlier. And a great example of this is uh, in, a, in a visualization by The Economist, which is uh, which presents the data uh, closer to the uh, presents the, the labeling closer to the data, which is much clearer as a, as a form of visualization. The final concept Heckert talks about is to me perhaps the most interesting and the least understood from a data visualization point of view, and this is called most advanced yet acceptable. And originally, this concept was presented by Raymond Lowy, suggesting that we appreciate design which mixes familiar things with really new things. Uh, and this explains why all music sounds like the 1980s at the moment, and it explains why digital cameras look like analog cameras. Uh, but broadly, what's underpinning the principle is we need a bit of newness combined with something that we're very, fairly familiar with. 
Uh, and we can see that in DataViz as well. So we've, uh, we've seen lollipop charts, ternary plots in recent years, uh, and then we've also seen the, the kind of surgence of the droid plots, uh, which, again, is something we're familiar with from culture. Uh, now, I think that a lot of this can be achieved not just through the graph choices, but also through the elements on the graph. And this is a great example of most advanced yet acceptable in action. Uh, so I'm going to skip through that. But broadly, that's DataViz aesthetics based on a paper on DataViz, uh, oh, sorry, aesthetic design. Um, I'm hoping to write a bit more about this. So if you have any ideas, questions, or thoughts, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for listening. Any questions?